With photography, sometimes noise in your image is unavoidable. When you need to ensure your shutter is at a certain speed, or your camera needs to absorb light in a dark environment, chances are you're going to develop noise in your photograph. At On One, we know how important it is that the photo you export is the one that you envisioned. That's why we've developed a powerful AI-driven tool for removing all of the noise in your photographs, regardless of the genre that you're shooting or the ISO that you're using. On One No Noise AI will quickly examine your image and intelligently remove all of its noise while maintaining the image's details and textures. No Noise AI is incredibly helpful for those photographers who are forced to crank up their ISO, but they don't want to lose any of the integrity of their original scene. Let's jump into an edit using No Noise AI to remove all of the noise in a high ISO photograph, and then we'll bring the image to life using Photo Raw's powerful effects engine with some filters and a texture. Inside of No Noise AI, I'm going to open up a photo here and I'll navigate to an image that was shot with a high ISO. I'll just choose open here. And as this image loads up, we can see that in the info pane, I was shooting at an ISO of 10,000, which is relatively you know, high and it does create quite a bit of noise and graininess in the image. So uh, on the left-hand side over here in the preview, dialog, this preview bar is splitting up our before and our after. So on the left hand side, we can see our original here. And let's just move this plane over to the middle. And we can see the original has quite a bit of noise in here. We have a lot of noise going on in the background and also in the plane. And we can see that no noise is doing an excellent job of getting all of that noise out of our photograph, but we still have all of that nice texture and detail in our image here. And if you want to fine tune the noise reduction and sharpening, you can head over here to your details pane here and we can modify the amount of the noise reduction, the amount of detail that is in that noise reduction and also the sharpening. So I'm going to add in maybe just a bit of sharpening in here just to make sure that there's uh, some textures and micro contrast in here in these small details. And then I'll just pull up on the detail slider just a little bit. I think that looks great so far, just like that. We still have you know, no noise in our image at all, and we're maintaining all of those nice textures and details. So now that we've removed that noise with No Noise AI, we can also crop the image inside of No Noise AI, and we can also retouch to remove these really gross imperfections here in my dust spots on my camera sensor. So let's crop the image. We'll remove these spots here and then we'll open up Photo Raw and we'll use the effects engine to bring some life into the background of our plane and also enhance the scene creatively. So let's just head over to the details pane and we'll apply these edits so that we can access these tools on the left. I'll choose the crop tool here. I'm going to leave it at the original ratio. I'm gonna hold down shift and just bring it in for a nice tight crop here. Probably about right there. Let's hit enter here. Then I'm gonna grab my retouch tools. I'm gonna to use my perfect eraser. And I'm going to just tap on the imperfections here, these dust spots on my lens. And that's going to make sure that they're not there in the background and we don't have any blemishes behind our plane. And I think we have a little one down here as well. So let's just get that one. And there we go. Now that we've removed the blemishes from the background and we've cropped the image, let's just head down here to the export button on the bottom right. And in the export dialog, I'm just going to make sure that I don't have any export presets selected here. I'm just going to deselect that so that I have a kind of blank slate on my export options. Let's open up our naming here. I'll enable that. And I'm going to name this one plain no noise after. So I have my naming uh, the way I want it. Now let's choose a destination. I'm just going to choose the same folder that I was using earlier. Now I'm going to go down to file type and I'm going to make sure that I have JPEG selected. I just want a nice JPEG, a small file to work with. And I'm just going to take it into Photo Raw and use the effects engine to really give it some life. So let's use a JPEG here. I'm going to use the 
uh, compression slider to pull it up all the way to 100. So we have uh, all of the detail in that that we need. And everything looks good here. One thing I want to do is just choose Show in Finder to make sure that it is exported right when it's done. So once it's done exporting, it'll pop up in my Finder so that I can see that it's exported and I know where it's at. So now let's choose Export and I'll see you inside of Photo Raw. And now inside of Photo Raw, I have my original photograph with the noise in it, and then I have my image with no noise at all. So let's just select the no noise after photograph, and I'll go over to the edit module here. I'll select edit. And I'm going to go into my effects tab first, and I'm going to add a filter. And let's add the textures filter here and bring on some nice clouds behind our plane. So let's go into the category. Let's go to natural. And here we go. I think that looks pretty good just like that. Now all we need to do is mask away this cloud texture from our plane. To do that, we can use our masking options inside of Photo Raw. So I'm going to make sure that this texture is selected. I'm going to head over to the left hand side. I'll choose mask. And let's go up to the top bar and I'm going to choose this AI icon here. This is our AI quick mask tool. With this, I have two different modes. I have my keep and my drop. I'm going to choose drop first and I'm going to use this brush here to brush in red all of the areas that I want to remove from the mask. And I don't want this filter applied to my plane, so I want to remove this area from the mask. Now I can head up to the top bar. I'll go to mode and I'll choose keep. Let's just increase the size quite a bit here. And I'll paint in green the areas that I want to keep in the mask. So basically all of the background here behind the plane. Let's just head up here and choose apply. And we can see in red that this is the area that it's removing from the mask. And in green, we have the area that it's keeping in the mask, which it looks great. So let's just go up here to done. And now in our textures filter here, we can view the mask. And we can see it's removing all of this texture filter from that area on our plane. Well, now what we can do is we can use this mask we've created and really stylize this photograph while protecting the plane and modifying the background or modifying the plane and protecting the background. So let's copy this mask that we've just created. Let's view the photograph. I'm going to add another filter and I'm going to add the tone enhancer filter. The reason I want the Tone Enhancer filter is because I want to selectively apply a little bit of tone enhancement to this plane. So first things first, let's go into the masking options for that Tone Enhancer filter. Let's paste that mask that we just created. Let's invert it so that the white is now applied to the plane because remember white reveals and black conceals. We need this revealing the Tone Enhancer on the plane. We'll view the photograph now and what I'm going to do here is just pull up on the shadow tones a little bit. And that's just going to add in a little bit more light in here on the bottom of the plane so it matches our scene a bit more. We can also uh, add in a little bit of exposure if we need to, but be careful because it could come off too bright for the background. But I think that looks okay. We might add in just a little bit of contrast here to make sure everything looks nice and detailed. So let's just turn this off to make sure everything looks Okay here, and I think, that, I think that looks a lot better. One thing we can do is just modify the opacity for this Tone Enhancer filter to make sure it looks natural. So that looks good just like that. I think the clouds are doing a great job back there. One thing we can do with this photograph to spice it up a bit more is we'll add a filter and we'll add the LUTs filter. And let's just use a nice, bright, fun LUT here. I really love this one here, this Bernag one, just like that. It does add in a bit more exposure to these clouds here, but it adds in a fun, almost moody-esque vibe to the scene, which I really dig. And we can also pull back on the opacity 
to go back to the original look if we need to. Now let's just stylize the outer edges of the scene by going to our borders filter here. And I think that looks great so far, just like that. One of the borders that I've been really liking lately in here is in the category of film, it's the film category, and in the border menu, it's this 35 millimeter dirty 001. And I really love it, especially for this shot, it does give it a, a sort of uh, vintage vibe, but it doesn't take away from you know the, the, the bright LUT look that we've created. Another one that I really like in these borders here is just the simple white border. I really love it. And the great thing about it is we can come down here to our transform and we can pull up or down on the scale to make this border a bit thicker or slim it down a bit. So let's look at our before image. So this is the image that we created with no noise. We removed all of the noise in our plane photograph and then we took it into Photo Raw and used the effects engine to stylize it a bit and add some life in the background and now we have this photo. So that's how to use On One No Noise AI to remove all of the noise in an image taken with a high ISO and then bring it to life using the powerful effects engine inside of Photo Raw. If you want to learn more about On One No Noise AI or other On One editing products, head over to our website at www.onone.com.